Welcome everyone. This is a Jenkins platform SIG meeting. Today we're on October 8, 2024. And around the table for the time being, we have Mark, Wade, Kenneth, Salano, and myself, uh, Kevin May, John Lajon. I don't know. We'll see. On the agenda today, we have uh, to talk about the end of support for Java 11. That's quite a big subject uh, these days. As always, we'll talk about the container image updates for the Jenkins controller and agents. Uh, we'll talk, I would. I was about to say briefly, but maybe not, uh, on the work in progress on images. We'll talk, of course, about the spring project end of life announcement, the big uh, progress we've seen. Um, if we still have time, we'll talk about the 2 plus 2 plus 2 Java support, but all of that is linked, at least in my mind. And uh, then we'll talk about the Temerin API, which may have changed, more or less. <laughs> Let's go now. Uh, unless you have something you would like to add to the agenda. No. Okay. Then let's go. Uh, the end of support for Java 11. Yes, um, this had to happen <laughs> some some days. So it's now more or less because it's always already the case for the weekly releases that don't support Java 11 anymore. And that will be the case for the next LCS, which will be... 2479.1, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so the controller repo for the controller has already dropped Java 11, and the weekly 2463 has already dropped support for Java 11. You see where I'm going. <laughs> and the next gen kids LTS, the 2479.1, Mark, you are the release manager, by the way, will drop support for Java 11 at the end of this month. So the question you asked, Mark, on two repos were, should we drop uh, updates for Java 11? And no, not should, because yes, of course, when <laughs> should we drop uh, container updates? So I don't know if anybody... Except Tim said something about that. I'm fine with either option. Yeah. So Tim said Tim said he had no opinion. He was okay with immediate. He was okay with now. He was next week. He was okay with end of the month. And my sense was I want next week because I want enough time before the end of the month to be sure that everything's in good condition. Uh, there are going to be enough challenges with a major transition like what will happen 30th of October without having any extra challenges that we could avoid by doing them earlier. Yeah, perfectly makes sense. Um, so yeah, the thing is we have to have the same version of Java which runs uh, the controllers and the agents and that's why we have to synchronize everything so that now we don't support JDK 11 for controllers or uh, agents at the same time. So before the end of the months. Um, so, now, yeah, go ahead, Mark. Sorry. Sorry, before you go on, I'm not aware of any arguments against it. We're There's no plan to do any agent releases between now and end of October, actually. So, so it's not that there's even going to be an agent delivery, but if there were an agent delivery, it would deliver without Java 11. And, and so, oh. so if there were such a thing, the users who are still on Java 11 in this narrow window of time between now and 30th of October won't get an update. They'll be stuck on the, the previous version of the agent containers. Okay. I, I think that is an acceptable risk in favor of getting the, the change in sooner. But it would be the case if your PRs would get merged, right? It Correct. It would not be the case nowadays if, okay. Today, it is not the case today, but assuming that the that we agree as a as a group that it's okay, then next week or over the weekend when I merge those two pull requests, then future releases from those two repositories will not deliver Java 11. That's fine with me, at least. Um, and frankly, I haven't seen any major work uh, in the... Um, agent images recently the only prs we'll talk about that later are yours mark regarding that uh removal of jdk 11 so i don't think we'll have any release for the agents in the coming weeks right so uh so last week we had an lts um the 2462.3 that got delivered to, with and without docker 
Um, what can we say about this one? You made um, a live mark with Darren uh, regarding that update and as always. Uh, pretty entertaining, but there was not so much in this <laughs> release. Not so much has changed. So we, what I've seen, uh, maybe I've missed something, but uh, the bump of the Debian Bookworm Linux and the bump of UB8 uh, version. Yeah, that was a security release. That's why we haven't seen anything major, at least on the Docker side. On the um, uh, Jenkins core itself, it was a security release. Nothing to do with the uh, Docker container. So, yeah. Nothing major. Um, at the end of the month, so we'll have the first uh, LTS that will only support JDK 17 and 21, uh, as far as I know. And you, Mark, are the release lead. And there are so many things to um, control, to verify, to check before launching this one. I don't know how you feel about that. Um, I won't say I'm scared because everything should be fine. You know, we are doing tests whenever it's needed. So all should go fine, but you never know. So Mark, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, so we have a release checklist and we're following the release checklist and the release checklist, just like emergency room physicians and surgeons, skilled professionals using reminder lists is a good thing. So yeah, we're, we're, we've, we will do, it looks clear that we will have one more backport uh, we did a, an initial backporting pull request of four or five changes. We'll do another one and maybe one more beyond that. And I'm not the least bit shy about that. Those are good things that have been proposed and will make the release better. Be cool. And by the way, it was supposed to be a 2.4.77 before we realized that uh, the 4.79 had a security that would have to be backported into the 4.77. So that's why we started with this one. And I guess we'll see a few people uh, here and there on the community forum on Gizzard. So, what? How come my uh, latest LTS doesn't work anymore with JDK 11? Uh, yeah. Sure. And, and we've been, we've been warning them for what, six or nine months with an administrative mm -hmm. monitor on their system that says Java 11 is dying. But in fact, just recently we received a question in the Gitter chat channel. Hey, will Alma Linux, uh, will you oh, update yeah. Alma Linux to support switch over from Java 11 to Java 21 or Java 17? And the answer is no, we won't. We're letting Alma Linux, Linux reach end of life because we had no maintainer for the Alma Linux container image and no, no real reason for us to carry it forward. It's reaching a nice orderly end of life by us no longer supporting Java 11. Yeah, and we have the UB9 with a new maintainer. Exactly, so UBI9. We're also doing end of life for UBI8 in, in this, this same sequence, right? Because eight does Java 11 and nine is used for Java 17 and Java 21. Yeah, that, um cycle of life for containers, operating systems, software, mm. whatever. Sometimes there is one thing that bothers me with that is that sometimes you have to switch off a machine <laughs> and just because the software is not supported anymore and right. it's a pain in the neck. But apart from that, of course, we have to stay up to date, secure and everything. Now for the weekly, so what I have seen is the bump of Debian Bookworm Linux and UB8. And when I wrote the agenda, the 480 wasn't ready yet. So I don't know if there's anything. Okay, oh, not oh, so it, much. No, no, it is ready. I haven't done that. Thank you. You detected that the checklist is not Once done. More, sorry, Pause Mark. Pause <laughs> just a moment. Hang on. We'll fix this promptly. Live. That's very good. Yes, indeed. Okay, so 2.480 is now published as a Docker container image release. Try Refresh your page again, Bruno. Woohoo! There we go. Oh, okay. remove Java Thanks. 11 support. Ouch. Okay. And, oh, this one. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Oh, let me change that live. Sorry. Control Shift B. Oh, really? Control Shift B. Okay. We'll learn from next time. So, yes, another place where we remove the Java 11 <laughs> support. Well, and, and that change removed Java 11 support that was already gone for weekly releases. All that, oh. that change actually did was remove it for LTS lines. And that 
is not an LTS line, so it was unaffected. It could even be removed from the change log in that sense, but no harm to leave it there. Good, thank you. And now for the Jenkins agent images, so there has been no new release for the SSH agent and three new releases for the Docker agent. And once again, uh, nothing major except for the UB, UBI9 uh, image done by Adam Kaplan of Red Hat. Uh, yeah, a new contributor. <laughs> Let's hope that it will stay with us. Um, and then I just saw a bump of the Git version on Windows and a bump of our clients. Uh, now, on to the work in progress on images. So nothing major was spotted on the controller. And for the Docker agent and Docker SSH agent, somehow almost the same uh, PR by you, Mark, the removal of the Java 11 support. Right. And, and eventually we envision that those two repositories will become one repository. So the fact that this, is, this looks like the same pull request twice is a good sign. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we already did some uh, factorizing work because exactly. uh, we used to have three repositories and one day we'll have only one. That will be uh, easier to maintain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So definitely removal of GDK 11 is a subject uh, these days. <laughs> now, um, the Spring project made an end of life announcement for the Spring Security 5.x, and there has been a ton of work done by mostly Bezel, um, uh, Crow, and uh, Adrien Charpentier regarding the upgrade of the whole Jenkins core to the new Spring um, Security and Spring Boot, maybe? Um, I just can't remember the other elements that were updated, but Spring Framework. Framework, sorry, Mark. And I think we could consider it done, right? Well, it's it, so it won't be done in my mind until we release 2.479.1 at yeah. the end of the end of the month. But you're, in terms of development work, it's done. You're right. We've got we've been shipping it in weekly for multiple weeklies. We're now on what the fifth weekly since we made that shipment, and we've had two or three or maybe four minor issues reported that have have been have been resolved and backports have been applied to the 479.1 branch for those minor issues. So it looks good. It looks very, yeah. very good. Now we can breathe and wait for the next catastrophe. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. And I would say uh, this is linked, but more or less, it's a 2 plus 2 plus 2 Java support plan because the whole thing about upgrading our dependencies and JDK are linked somehow. We try to keep everything up to date and we have now have a, some kind of roadmap that will help us find the right way. Mark, anything new regarding that uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 support plan? Yeah, the actions that I'm taking now to drop Java 11 will be mm -hmm. added to checklists that are already in, that have already oh. been started inside that document. So the idea is, as we do this, we'll go through the through the history of the repository and see, oh, we did this, we did this, and and add things to our checklist. Just like we have a release checklist, we'd like a Java transition mm -hmm. checklist. Now it's a checklist will only run about every two years, yeah. so it's it's much more difficult to have checklists like that than checklists that you run every every week or every month, like we do with the the release checklists. Of course. Uh, yeah, it would take time to have the final uh, version. <laughs> Maybe six years from now, we'll right. see. Thank you. And now uh, we've been converting um, part of our use of Tamarin a month ago. I think we started with the controller. We used to depend on the Tamarin Docker images to build our own agent and controller images. Then we switched to just binaries. Um, and then use the direct target image, for example, Debian for Debian, Alpine for Light, uh, Alpine, and so on. But then there was another step, which was using the um, Tamarin API. Instead of trying to widely guess the right tag thanks to the GitHub releases. So that was a major step. But then we try to factorize that because, of course, we have to search for those tags or new versions of binaries in the control uh, Docker file, but also in the agent's Docker files and maybe uh, in some of the um, Jenkins infra uh, repositories. So we had to 
find a place where to put this magic code that deals with the Tamarin API. So it used to work until what? This week, Mark? Late last week. Last week. Yeah, which which is a reminder that checking the health of our health of our CI jobs is a, a really good thing because if the CI jobs are failing on the master branch without any code change on the master branch, it usually means there's some other problems. Yes, indeed. But you find what and how to work around that. You had a discussion with people from the Tamarin uh, Slack channel. And yes, somehow the um, location header uh, changed maybe because of Cloudflare, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, you described it. You described it quite well. It it appears that um, we were getting a redirect before, and in the redirect we were receiving re before, the header included location with a, a capital L in the in the word, and there was a change that now the location that's being respond returned in the redirect message is a, a lowercase L. But we don't care about the case of the the keyword. So we just did a grep minus I instead of a grep and yes. life was well done. simpler. It's, it's not a big fix, right? It, this is not, but not it's an important it, fix. It was, no, it, it was, works. Yeah. Though actually the more valuable fix is the two error message improvements that I put in, in this same pull request, because if I'd had those, I would have diagnosed it sooner, but, but yes, indeed. now that, now that they're, they are included, this should be fine. And it's already merged and hopefully working. Yeah, well, we know it's working because we built the the Windows con the Jenkins controller images with exactly oh, that works. script just today for the two point four hundred eighty uh, weekly release. Yeah. So yes, yeah. we're we're confident it works. Well done, thank you, Mark. Any other subject you would like to uh, see addressed today, folks? None from me. Although, the, actually, could you bring up? Could you bring up the controller container repository? Because I, yeah. I, while Kenneth's here, I may want to ask him a question. Uh -huh. On github.com, uh, Jenkins CI. Yeah, so here, go to go to the, uh, the code itself and let's look at the, the HCL file that's used to define all the work. Is it HCL, the... No, the bake. bake the bake file yeah so let's look at that bake file because while deleting while deleting some things i was curious if we wanted to reconsider something okay so scroll all right looking here linux is expected whoops slow down just a little arm 64 no no i guess this is okay all right so this this is it must have been on the agents where i saw some asymmetry oh where yeah. there was a Would you like to have a look so yeah and there is a there's a discrepancy in one of them what we just put linux i think because uh, i i was specific about versions on most of them but one of them uh somebody else had changed yeah so let's well let's let's look at the bake file here and it maybe this is the one and maybe not okay so keep going so agents Oh right, because Java eleven has removal hasn't been merged yet. So maybe Bruno, could yeah. you could we take instead and look at it through the pull request? Yeah. Because it might also yeah, it just files changed is oh. great. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, so now if you if you do a view file of the of the HCL, so here the a bake file, right? So if you'll do just a view file of that, and then we can look at it in full context. Okay, so here I thought there was some surprise. Keep going down. Yes, I remember I took Java eleven out a while ago. Oh, oh yeah, Michael. Okay, my question was: Linux ARM sixty four does not have Alpine Java twenty one Java seventeen. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. I'm great with that. But I was just, oh, okay. Is that an asymmetry? 
And I know why Linux ARM32 doesn't have anything other than Java 17. Yeah. I guess I should ask you again, Bruno, do you really mean it that we continue to deliver ARM32 when Temerin is, is not going to do it for Java 21 or later? Uh, I think your answer is still yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, it's possible. Okay. Whenever okay. we'll switch to Java 21, of course, I get rid of it and right. shut down a few machines, but that's all. Okay. All right. So, so we're okay with, we've had no complaints from, any, from anyone that ARM64 container images on, on now. Good. If, if we've not had complaints, I see no reason to increase the that, number of images we have. I think the Debian though built 17 though. Oh, so maybe scroll okay. down to, scroll down to mine. I'll show you. I think I have Debian also. Okay. So that's... look at little, I think you went a little too far. Oh, um, sorry, Bruno. It was we right need there. See, so I have Debian. Right? So uh -huh. I had Debian build seventeen and and twenty one. If you if you scroll up to what, um, I think actually it's it's defined at the bottom. At the bottom, or or it's a group. No, you might be right. It's a group. It is a group. Uh, I don't know. Let's have it. I'm all over the so, place, right? Keep going. There we go. So let it go. One more. Keep. No, so no, we're no. looking for. There should be a group Debian. Okay, I'll find the kill you be done. Come on, come on, you can do it. Uh, Alpine platforms. Platform. Okay, all right. So it's, oh, right. The, okay, good. Here it is. So if we're on 17, we do AMD 64, ARM 64, PPC, and V7. Oh, right. This was the one. Okay, you're already showing exactly the one. There's no System 390 support for... Um, Java 17, only Java 21. Well, 21. I, and I have no problem with that. I'm not proposing we change it. It's just seeing ARM v7 on 17 and not System 390, and then System 390 on 21. I know why we don't have ARM v7 on 21 because it's not available. Yeah. 21 is not available. All right, yeah. good. So I think the I, way we were doing it before, explicitly listing the versions, was clear. Because, you know, I, I had to remember to go to this uh, group thing here. Right. Yeah, I'm, and I'm prone to just to still stay with this one in hopes that, that we'll, we'll, yeah. As we do unification, we may, we may further simplify this or make it explicit. Yeah. For me, this is fine for now. So great. That, that answered sure. my question. Thanks, Bruno. Yeah, you're welcome. It, it does work, but it could be simpler to understand than to find which one works and which one is not built. But yeah, now we know. Thank you. Okay. And I think that all that I had. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. Uh, the recording should be available from 24 to 48 hours, and we'll see each other two weeks from now. Bye-bye.